let me show you how to create a beautiful geometric pattern design in Affinity Designer. Start with drawing a diamond shape. So grab the diamond tool, construct a diamond, make sure that it has a width of 145 and then the height 250. So after doing that, right click and then select convert to curves. Pick the node tool, remove this curve point on the left, click on it and then press delete on the keyboard. Then after, create a duplicate out of this triangle of hours. And then flip the duplicate, move it so that it snaps to this other rectangle forming a diamond so next thing we're going to do select all these triangles and um, enable the transform origin feature then after press ctrl command j on your keyboard to create a duplicate after doing that transform the origin of the duplicate down here where these two meet and then rotate the duplicates to an angle of 60 degrees after doing that, press Ctrl Command J to power the duplicate feature. Make sure that you come up with something that forms a star. Then after, we are going to grab this triangle here down. Press and Ctrl and you will create a duplicate out of it. Drag it and move it here up so that you cover up that area. And then come and select it. Create a duplicate out of it, press and control and then dragging to the left, cover up this area. Now select these two <coughs> triangles that we have just formed that cover the these areas, the areas up here. Create a duplicate out of them by pressing control command on your keyboard. Move their origin to the center. Like this. And then after create a duplicate of, the, of these two, by pressing Ctrl Command J on your keyboard, rotate the duplicates to an angle of 120. Sorry. And then press Ctrl or Command J on your keyboard. <clears throat> Now this is what we have come up with. The next thing we are going to do is to color up these small triangles of ours that create a beautiful pattern using these colors here on my left. So for learning purposes, you should be using these same colors. So I wrote for you the color codes here so that you can copy them and be using the same colors that I'm going to be using. Now when it comes to shading, make sure that you shade the same way I'm shading. So grab this rectangle, grab this, select it, and select this, select this three, this, this, and this. Press I on your keyboard to grab the picker tool. Come and select this first color up, the first one. Make sure that you're coloring the fill, right? Yeah, like that. So select this this and this press i grab the picker tool select the second color and then grab this this and then this this three one two three press i on your keyboard give them this color this one the third one now select this this then this press I in this color and now we are going to select this select this and then this and then this and then this press I give them the second last color and then select these last ones and then give them this color after doing that, select all these shapes of ours. 
and remove the stroke color so that it looks like that now i think i can remove these color codes we no longer need them so now select all these triangles press ctrl command g on your keyboard to group them or you can just simply right click and then say um group make it one group now you can also disable this transform origin feature now we are going to create patterns that fill up this this situation mean this open open white booklet of ours yeah this working space that we are using so i'm going to reduce the size a little bit by make sure that you're holding shift if i told you i'd reduce the size yeah to something like something of this size yeah align them so align it to the center now we are going to create duplicates out of it so grab hold control shift hold your control on your keyboard drag make sure that it is the group that is selected so control on your keyboard drag to the left first drag to the left make sure that it aligns well and it snaps well with the original one and then if i do that press control command j on your keyboard to create more duplicates do the same to the right After doing that, select this. Holding control, put a duplicate, put it here. And then create another duplicate here, and then press control G. So after doing that, now select all these shapes, move them a little bit up like this, hold control and shift to create a duplicate, move it downwards, make sure that it snaps with the ones that are up here, then press control command J to make duplicate. Yeah, now we have created buttons that fill out this working space of ours. So guys, thank you for watching this video up to the end. Hope you have liked, hope you have learned something. And if at all you have enjoyed this video, like, leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As well as turning on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. Stay tuned to the channel because more tutorials are coming and stay blessed.